Hi there, Carol Brightbill. Did you ever wonder what a teacher web page is? A teacher web page is a website that's created by a teacher that provides pertinent information and resources for your students, parents, and other interested parties. It may contain a variety of materials such as, of course, syllabi, assignments, class schedules, study materials. You can have multimedia such as videos, online quizzes or exams, there's links to other websites, and a contact form for people to contact you. One of my favorite platforms to create a teacher web page is a Google site, and I'm going to show you the basics of a Google site. To get to Google Sites, of course, in the URL bar, you can type sites.google.com, but I always like going to the waffle and going to the Sites icon. Now, a couple things when you are at Sites, when you look across the top, there's a template gallery. You can open that up, and they have various templates that you can choose one of these that gives you a start to your web page so that you don't have to start from scratch. But I am going to start from scratch because I want to show you the basics of Google Sites. Let's select New. One of the first things you want to do is give your site a name. So now I've given my site a name. Let's go across the top. All the changes are saved to the drive, so as you have created the site, it has actually placed it within your Google Drive. The arrows here to undo what you've just done or to redo something that you've accidentally deleted or want it to delete. When you select the icon here for preview, it will take it and you can preview your site looking down the bottom, how it looks on a mobile site, how it looks on a tablet, and then how it looks on a desktop. Let's X out of here. Having the link will give you a link for your site. My site isn't published, so the link is grayed out. If I wanna share the site with co-teachers, collaborators, my principal, this is where I will click to share my site. I'm the owner of the site. And when you come to general access, you can see this is just a draft. Right now it's restricted. I can move the check mark to Pottstown School District so it would go to anyone within my district would have access, or I can change it to anyone with the link. Since this is a teacher web page, I wanna change this to anyone with the link because I want my parents to be able to go into the site because they are outside the domain of Pottstown School District. But I'm not sharing this right now, so I'm going to say done. Coming across here now, you see the gear. With the gear, you can see the navigation. You can have your navigation at the top or on the side. When it says the side, it will go down the left side. I can change the color from transparent, white, black. I'm going to leave mine transparent. Search settings. Do I want things to search this site? Organization content, that means your domain, or hide the search button. I'm going to leave my search button. Coming down, brand images. So if you have a logo, you can upload your logo here. If you upload a logo and there are specific colors in your logo, your theme of your site will pick up those colors within your logo. A flavorcon is a small icon that sits to the left of your URL. Coming down, we have viewer tools. You can read down what this says for info icon to anchor links, analytics, that's a whole different video, but that would show tracking on your site and give you information on who's come to your site, an announcement banner. Let me X out of here. Selecting the three dot ellipse gives you the more. You can see the version history, that means all the times you've changed your site, you can go back to different versions. If you like your site and you wanna keep it, but you wanna have a whole different site, you can make a copy of the site and then add your new information. Selecting help takes you to Google's help, which they always are so resourceful with the information they give you. Taking a tour will take you around the Google site and show you the various things. Help improve sites to share your information and your input with Google and report abuse. Coming to the publish would publish the site with its name, and who can view my site? Here's where I showed you, it can manage it. This is where it's Pottstown School District, so it would just go to people in this domain. Or, as I said, if it's a teacher webpage, you want it anyone with the link. I'm gonna cancel because I don't wanna publish this site. Coming across the banner, you can change the title of your page. Here's the search icon. You can trash the banner if you don't want a banner. To change the image, you can upload a banner that you created using a Google Slides is a great way to create a custom banner for your teacher web page. Or if I say select, this will take me to a gallery of images that Google has 
a URL, search your albums, or to your Google Drive. Let me just select a custom banner here. Now that it's changed, I can reset this. This will remove the changes that I've just done. Or the header type. Header type is if it's a cover, it fills the whole page. Large banner, banner, title only. I'm going to go back to banner. So now we're going to go down the right menu. The three tabs at the top are insert, pages, themes. Let's do the insert. Various things you can insert would be a text box. You can see the text box was placed here with the WYSIWYG editor. You can insert an image, upload and select, which would have the same options as the banner just had. You can embed a URL. That means you can embed a separate web page within your web page or you can get embed code, which is called iframe code. I have a separate video that I created about iframe codes that will be down in the description. Over here, the next thing you can insert is from your Google Drive. You can see it goes to my drive, share drives, or things that have been shared with me. An important thing to remember, when you're inserting anything that's from your Google Drive, that could be a Google Doc, a sheet, a slide, you also wanna go into the sharing settings of that original file and make sure that that's either shared with your domain or anyone with the link because if you don't have the settings changed it won't be viewable on your teacher web page coming down at the bottom now here's a really cool thing about Google sites they have content blocks these are pre-created elements that when you select them they'll automatically be added it's a template that you can use that's very nicely formatted and you can come then in the template and you can see upload select image from your drive YouTube calendar map you can change the text it has heading text and then it has normal text coming down lower are all of the other things that you can insert I have a completely separate video on this element here, giving a description of everything here, and I'll have the URL for that video down in the description below. The next thing in the right menu is the pages. Selecting pages, of course you have your home page, and down at the bottom when you hit the plus, this is where you can add a new page, or you can have a page that goes to a link. You could have a full page embedded, so you can see the iframe code there, or a new menu section. So I'm just going to do a new page, and I'm going to call this About. Say Done. Now I have two pages, and it's building the menu across the top. You can see from the settings, this is transparent. Remember, in the settings, this is where I could change the color and make it white. Now you can see this has changed to white. Hovering over each page, there's a three dot ellipse. Selecting the three dot ellipse, you can duplicate the page if you've done a lot of work in the page and you like the layout and you want to keep the same format for the next page, duplicate the page and then just swap out the information. Going to properties opens up the name of that page. Advanced takes you so that you can have a custom path. A custom path would be a URL, let's say done the three dot ellipse, the bottom thing is add sub page. So that's a page underneath that page in the heading. When I go to the about and I select this three dot ellipse, you can see this menu is longer than the home menu because you can do more things with your additional pages. The home page is the top level. You can see I can make this page the home page. And again, I can duplicate it, properties, add a sub page. You can see here it says hide from navigation. Why would you want to hide a page from a navigation? This is where you can put information on a page and you'll have the URL to that page and you can share that URL to that page and it's a private page that other people cannot see. And then of course you can delete that page. If I make a sub page saying done, you can see now there's a drop down arrow and here's my sub page. Coming across the top now, the last thing on the right is themes. I'm going to select themes. At the top here, you can see you can have a custom theme or you can import a theme. Having a custom theme, you can give your theme a name and this is where you can add a logo, a banner image, say next. There are preset colors that I can choose, custom colors. This means I can add my own hex colors for what I want for my theme. I'm going to select one of the preset colors I'm going to go to next. And here's one of the coolest things about Google Sites are the fonts that you can use. It says title and header fonts and body fonts. When you select the fonts menu, it has all the fonts that I've already gotten, but when I select more fonts, 
will actually take me to more fonts that Google has that they offer that you can put on your web page. This is one of the biggest advancements ever in web pages, the ability to have custom fonts. I've selected a font and I'm gonna say, okay. Same thing with the body. When I select this, we'll show the fonts I have installed and I can go to more fonts if I wanna swap out that font. So let me select create theme. Now my custom theme is down here. But let me go back to themes. When you import a theme, this will take you to another site that you've already created and you can import the theme from that site. I didn't have a theme, but if I did, it would import it here. Scrolling down further, you can see the themes that Google already has here that you can choose one of their themes. Let me choose level. You can see how now my theme has instantly changed to the level theme and here are colors, and here's a font style. This theme only has five colors. If I hit the paint bucket, I can add a hex color and choose a custom color that I like. I opened up a new tab and I typed in the Omnibox, custom hex colors, and the top selection is always the place that I like to go to if I want to get a custom hex. Selecting this, and when you select picker, we'll bring up a color picker and you can slide the dot around and you can see that the custom hex colors changes. You can change the slider to get different colors. And when you get a color that you like at the top, right beside the hashtag is your custom hex color. I'm going to double click on that, copying this, going back to my theme and I'm going to paste this in here. Now I have a custom hex color. When I have my Google site finished and customized, then you want to publish. As I said, this is where you have to manage who can see your site. Remember, this is a teacher web page, so you want to make this anyone with the link. Once I've changed that, you can see the published site is public. So that means that the parents of your students can view your teacher web page. I want to thank you for joining me on watching this tutorial on how to use Google Sites for a teacher web page. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Have a great day.